too much for me. The 2K Sports Pregame Show. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. And coming right up, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks playing against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And for Cleveland, this is a team they knocked out in the first round in last year's playoffs, so they'd better be ready. Some extra motivation on this one. And Jabari Parker is a guy we'll have our eye on tonight. Had to sit out most of last season after he tore the ACL. Shaq, you still have to like the kid's future. You know what I like him, Murray. He showed us that he can score consistently on the NBA level. He had an early setback, but he's motivated as any young player. I know you see his commercials. He's coming back he's with coming a vengeance. Back. He's coming back with a vengeance, and I'm, he's a very efficient scorer at his position and for his age he's got a great deal of skill and I think he's the forgotten man in Milwaukee because they made the playoffs but this guy was their best player before that happened uh, the game is coming up shortly it's time to get down to Kevin Harlan Kevin It's an Eastern Conference battle at the BMO Harris Bradley Center in Milwaukee as the Bucks look to work the home court advantage. Thanks for joining us, everyone. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan. Joining me, Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and courtside Doris Burke. You take a look at the Cavaliers. So important to get off on the right foot. New year, new season. These guys have done it. But I guarantee you what, guys? The adrenaline is already flowing on both sides. A rivalry matchup like this means a little more to the players than just any other game. And not just the players, Greg. How about the fans, too? Yes. I mean, they get into this thing as well. We've got an electric atmosphere in here, just like it always is when these two teams square off. It should be a good one, and I'm glad to be right in the middle of it. And a look at the starters for the Cavaliers. Kyrie Irving and J.R. Smith at the guard set. LeBron and Love are the talented pair at the forward position. And it's Thompson in at the five down low. Yes. Great assist that time by Kyrie Irving. Here's Zonda Takumbo. Middleton outside. The feed now to Parker. And stolen by Love. LeBron with it. Now defended by Carter Williams. The drive by James. Rebound by Parker. Cleveland on defense. This game coming on the heels of their win against Toronto. And even in hostile territory as they were that day, they had no jitters at all. I mean, oh. Tell you what, he's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Absolutely insane with that dunk. Well, now they're starting to rub it in, aren't they? Have build up a lead, and here we go, folks. It's <laughs> showtime. That was a Kodak moment right there. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys on the ropes. Shot clock at six. Onda Takumbo passes to Parker. Unloads from 13. That's good on the jump shot. That's just running the mill for him. A typical day at the office. He's one of the more skilled offensive players out there. Well, outside the Irving. Sticking too much. Puts it up from 12. That's good. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. Onda Takumbo kicks to Carter Williams. Up against Parker. The kick out to Onda Takumbo. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. And really no choice but to lunge for that pass to make sure it didn't get through. Yeah, and that was important. Probably would have been a quick two points if he doesn't get a hand on it and knock it out of bounds.
here in the first. Just under two and a half minutes played so far. Shot clock at three. Parker. And it comes off the front of the rim. Cavaliers have gone four of five from the field so far. Rebounded by the Bucks. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. And you don't have to go too deep into the box score to figure out why they lost that when they just had an inability on that day to make shots. You know, sometimes we talk about a defense getting into the heads of the opposing players, Greg, but that night they got up in their own head, just got in their own way and couldn't get out of it. He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. Bucks trail by eight. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Kyrie Irving grabs the miss. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Nine times out of ten, yes. that's an easy layup for them. And no doubt they've come into this game with a really aggressive approach, just pounding the ball inside. It certainly is working. They're finding the open lanes to the hoop and owning this game early. It's out of the Kumbo on the wing. With a floater, one up, one down, two points with his first shot this game. The Cavaliers on offense. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. That's good. And it's six points for Kyrie Irving. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but also the body movement off the ball that's created a lot of those opportunities. That's good. Boy, can he finish in the paint. That's one thing we know he's good at. The Cavaliers leading by eight. We'll go to Doris Burke, who spoke with head coach Jason Kidd. Doris, what's the news there? I asked him if there was an X factor in this game, a player they couldn't forget about, and he said it would have to be Tristan Thompson, the power forward out of Texas. He said Thompson is still developing from a skill standpoint, but his motor is really off the charts. You always have to find him and get a body on him when the shot goes up, because the guy never takes a play off. Guys, they've been forewarned. We'll see if they take it to heart. Thank you, Doris. James kicks to Irving from 18 feet away. Milwaukee with the rebound. This their first chance this season playing the Cavaliers. And they're facing the team that dismissed them from the postseason last year. So certainly a little payback in mind. Greg, we know that's in the past, but you can't change that for sure. Nevertheless, a win would be sweet. Boy, and this run really triggered by their transition offense. And you can see the momentum swinging now. They've gotten a huge boost of energy. And, and now the offense starting to click. Now, Adetokounmpo, 17 points for him last game against the Thunder in Oklahoma City. And, but it didn't deter him from attacking defensively. His pressure was terrific. He also got three steals in that game. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Irving's shot is good. Irving's got eight. And the offense has come together immediately. I mean, they're threatening to run away with this thing already. Greg, it's hard to imagine they'll stay this hot for four quarters. But if they even approximate that, watch out. He's lost it in this quarter, no doubt about it. Nothing seems to be going for him. Shoots from the baseline. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. Cavaliers on top. They lead by 14. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. I really is this. Welcome back. It's been all one-sided so far through the first quarter as our second quarter gets underway. And guys, the Cavaliers enjoying a nice lead here. Just the start they're looking for in this game. Solid offensively through the first. Very crisp and sharp. Not much stagnation at all on offense.
Bucks trail by 14. Vaughn is out there with Smith. Then it's Plumley. Then it's Carter Williams. And it's Stauskas in at the shooting guard position. So that's who Milwaukee starts the second with. Plumley dishes to Carter Williams. Six to shoot. A three. And Shepard pulls it down. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be firmly in control of this game. And, and no doubt about it, rebounding is an effort stat, folks. They've been more determined than their opponent thus far. And it's going to be a three-second call. So a moment now to see the story on Michael Carter-Williams. A very nice season for him last year. 15th in steals. And he also finished in the top 20 of the assist rankings, making plays for others and making his teammates better. And as we saw last year, I mean, a difficult guy to run the offense against, constantly jumping the passing lanes. Back to Smith. And he gets that one to go off the front iron. Smith's got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Bucks. Anderson a screen on Carter Williams. There's a good screen. Elvidova, the pass to Freak. And it's off from three-point range. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Carter Williams against Shumper. Carter Williams kicks to Smith. And a great assist by Carter Williams as that one goes in. Take a moment to look at the 2K leaderboard and see last year's high-scoring teams. The Cavaliers fifth. Boy, they do an excellent job offensively. Most of the season last year, they were really game. But anytime you score the points they did, it's about unselfishness and trusting each other. The Cavaliers leading by 10. Here's Delavidova. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. And that one's good. Freak. That was simply a defensive breakdown there, Kevin. He was all alone for that shot. It was a warm-up jumper. Plumley with the screen. Passes it to Smith. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. First trip to the line for him here. And, and not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. Guys, when you compare against last year, I mean, this season has been a pretty okay, painful drop-off in his two free shots. throw numbers. I mean, he's not making the key chances he's getting at the foul line. And the first one at the line is good. Second free throw, no good. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady with their work on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. Bucks trail by 14. 
And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Cleveland's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. There's the pick. And it's Shumpert penetrating. That's tipped. And that's out of bounds. Out Cleveland out. will retain possession. Cavaliers ball. And here's Freak. He's coming off a 10-point game against Toronto. Just four to shoot. Anderson kicks to Shumper. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Three-pointer, Della Vidova, and it's good. Della Vidova's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Bucks trail by 15. We got to be more physical on defense. They are getting to the middle of the floor way too easy. Get into them on the perimeter. Posts, rotate over and make your presence felt. Quit being so soft. chance here to check out how the Bucks ranked in the NBA last season. First and second chance points. Second in assists. And they were ranked third in team field goal percentage. Physical strength of this team. That they scored so many more second chance points than anybody else. Their physicality and iron will inside made them a force to be reckoned with. And I did a Kumpo's checked in for Milwaukee. Chris Middleton comes in for Carter Williams. James against Anadokounmpo, and here's Stauskas from the arc. Milwaukee, no good that time either. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle on the boards. You know what? No rebounds, no rings, and they've controlled the boards, and that's what's given them control of this game. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Middleton outside. There's a screen. Kicks it to Antetokounmpo. Just three to shoot. Middleton on the wing. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Three on three. And James with the basket on the assist by Irving. Irving's got his third assist on the night. That's outstanding hang time improvisation right there. Antetokounmpo with the ball. Screen by Smith. And here's Stauskas from the arc. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Following this game, they'll hit the road to challenge the Pacers of Pacers Arena in Indianapolis. That'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. Antetokounmpo with the ball. He's picked up by James. 114 left in the first half of the game. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. Yeah, you can see he's still in rhythm, even though he misses that one almost always deadly when he's that open. 
And, and even though he missed that, you, you have to take those shots when you get the opportunity. Exactly. They don't come much better or easier than that. And stolen by Freak. 43 seconds left now here on the second. The good-looking shot from the wing. Freak's got seven. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter, and now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Plumley with the screen. Back to Middleton. Outside, out of the Kumbo. For three, Stauskas gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge Greg, and when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Irving drives in. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. He's got 10. And really, it looks like he may just try to take this thing over on his own and really build that lead up. Middleton dishes to Smith. The 18-footer is right on the mark. Love. He got it up that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. A dominating first half of basketball, and so far, hasn't been close. Cavaliers lead by 18. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Thank you, Kevin. It seems, LeBron, like so far the team is on a mission. What sort of message did you want to send here early? Uh, it's only it's really a message to ourselves, knowing that we got to get back to playing the way we know how to play, defending at a high level, executing offensively. Uh, no message sent to anyone else but ourselves. Thank you, LeBron. Kevin, this team has a message all its own. Thank you, Doris, and we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. Okay, guys, tremendous work in the first half. These fans haven't had a thing to cheer about. Let's talk about how to keep it going. We exposed them in transition. That's the first thing. When we got out and ran, they couldn't hang with us. So keep pushing the ball whenever you get the chance. I'll say this for us, though. Our shot selection has been terrific. We haven't forced things. And the shots are dropping for us because of that patience. And let me touch on tempo for a second. We're not out to use the whole shot clock, but I would like to see us get set up offensively. And that's all I wanted to go over with you. Let's go play a good half of basketball. Come on, Bradley Center. You better be making some well, We're getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far. We'll see if that changes here in the third. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game. He has been everywhere. And he just went off. <laughs> in those first two quarters, guys. He's capable of doing that on a consistent basis as well. So we might see some changes from a defensive standpoint as they try to disrupt his rhythm in the second half. You know, guys, I think you've got to make some sort of change. I mean, they can't let him continue to torch him up like he has been.
Bucks trail by 18. Checking out the group for Teron Liu to start the second half. J.R. Smith and LeBron at the two and three. Thompson is out there with Kevin Love, and it's Irving at the point guard. That drops. Parker's got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Bucks. Getting the half off to a good start here already with some penetration. Thompson a screen on Monroe. Irving passes to Thompson. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got his fourth assist in this one. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. That's right. Five of their last six makes were on the interior. They've established their inside presence. Parker inside. He's going up against Love. And the shot is good. The Cavaliers leading by 16. LeBron right side. Count that one. LeBron James. LeBron's got 10. Obviously a mix-up defensively on that possession. Parker right side. To the inside. Monroe drops in the layup for two. That makes three in a row to start the second half. Clark, one thing we've seen from these guys is excellent ball movement. And you love to see that, Kevin. I mean, I love watching unselfish play, and I know Greg enjoys that, too. No doubt about it. It's fun to watch the way they're operating as a team right now. They are all in sync. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. And a wide open look for James. No good with the triple. Boy, oh, that's got to be deflating and disappointing to miss a wide open shot like that right in your wheelhouse. Carter Williams kicks to Onda Takumbo. Parker with it. Guarded now by Kevin Love. And Parker, here we go. Shot is off. Great D that time from Love. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. And yes, sir, that one drops. And that's 12 points for Kyrie Irving. They're doing work here in the second half. Three or four to start. Parker left side. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. That's his first personal foul. For Milwaukee, they have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. Definitely an area where they can improve. Only 73% as a team from the line last year. Yeah, it's been a very frustrating season for them in that regard, guys. Shooting two. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. Bonds checked in for Milwaukee. And then for Cleveland, Anderson, he's checked in for Love. Shumper comes in for James. And it's Matthew Dellavedova in for Irving. And he's good on the second. The Cavaliers leading by 17. Della Vidova kicks to Smith. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Move the ball. It's sticking too much. Thompson sets the pick for Smith to the middle. Off the screen. And it's Thompson with the jam. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Onto Takumbo, dishes to Monroe. Parker sets the screen for Carter Williams. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got his third rebound tonight. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. They're really pushing them around. Straight bully ball. Channing Fries checked in for Anderson. Smith, 
Smith the pass to Thompson, and he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. Well, he's an undersized center, but he more than makes up for it with some serious leaping ability. Carter Williams kicks to Parker. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. And that one's good. Parker's got seven points for the quarter. We've seen a noticeable improvement out of him since halftime. He didn't have a whole lot working in the first half. Smith dishes to Thompson. And down it goes, jamming that one home. Great job to hit his teammate on that move, Kevin. Carter Williams, the pass to Onda Takumbo. Back to Carter Williams. Over in the corner, onto the Kumbo. Five to shoot. Shot on the wing. But they get it back. The Cavaliers leading by 21. Della Vidova kicks to Shumper. Smith dishes to Della Vidova. Here's Vaughn. The pass to onto to Kumbo. Parker against Thompson. Parker kicks to Monroe, and it's out of bounds to the Bucks as Milwaukee retains possession. A different look for Milwaukee. Miles Plumley's checked in for Monroe. Smith comes in for Parker, and Stauskas subbed in for Andetokounmpo. And a switch here also for Cleveland. Freaks checked in. One thirty-five left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Smith. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Cleveland. Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unselfish. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. He hits the second from the line. 131 left in the third quarter. Inside, here's Thompson, uses both hands to slam it down. The shooting percentage continues to elevate here in the second half. Well, as a group, they've been harmonic since the break. In sync, good team basketball, resulting in high quality shots. Now here's Carter Williams. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And you're going to take as many of those high percentage shots as you can get. The Cavaliers leading by 20. Della Vidova kicks to Fry. The screen from Thompson. Here's Shumpert. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Plumley with the screen. Here's Carter Williams. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. There's a glaring discrepancy between these teams in that area of the game. And it's been the difference. That's what's enabled them to build such a big lead, no doubt about it. They set the pick. Shot clock at six. Good work defensively by Smith. Good pick, but he, he just couldn't make it count. Yeah, nice job of setting the screen by his teammate there, and I'm sure he appreciated it. Now, Carter Williams. And here's Stauskas from the arc. He got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Cavaliers ahead, opening up a huge gap. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. We and we're getting underway here in the fourth quarter. The scoreboard tells the story in this matchup, but we'll see how much things change up here.
The Cavaliers leading by 22. The dynamite pair of Anadokounmpo and Parker at forward. Stauskas is out there with Chris Middleton, and it's Plumley in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. There's the screen. Anadokounmpo against Smith. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It's been a solid outing for LeBron. Ten points, and he's made some good decisions with the basketball, too. And being smart with the ball like he's been today, Clark, I, I think it's critical for him Shoot and them. The he should repeat that LeBron every game. James at the line for two. That one is off. Greg Monroe, he's checked in for Miles Plumley. And he's good on the second. The Bucks shooting a lackluster 38% for the game, struggling so far. And here is Adedekumbo. Parker kicks to Middleton. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. They set the screen. Pass to Love. And he makes good on the layup. And an open path to the hoop there. Easy bucket. We've seen that far too many times today. About a minute played here in the fourth quarter. Adetokounmpo against Smith. Here Stauskas takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Not a good idea to let him get such good position in the paint. It's more than a bad idea. It's real trouble. I mean, he'll make that 10 out of 10 times. Love kicks to Freak. Irving passes to LeBron. And that one's good. I mean, he was great in his last game, Clark, and clearly he has not lost that love and feeling. Bucks call timeout. Come on, Bradley. Milwaukee making a switch. Carter Williams is checked in. And Cleveland also making a change. Thompson's checked in. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Outside, out of the Kumbo. It's Parker with the drive. Rebound by Smith. The Cavaliers leading by 23. Got it. Let's get the ball inside. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Carter Williams against Irving. It's a pick by Love. Just five on the clock. LeBron kicks to Love. On its way from Irving for two. No luck. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. It's off to Charlotte for him after this game as they take on the Hornets. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. And Middleton kicks to Onda Takumbo. From down in the low post, it goes. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Irving against Carter Williams. Another miss by Irving. Bucks trail by 21. Outside, out of the Kumbo. To the paint, Parker. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. That one on Love. Yeah, easy call. Shooting. Yeah, you can hear the smack Jeff all the way over here Parker. where we are. Two, Two shots. shots.
Shooting two. Shooting two. Free throw good by Parker. And Parker drops them both. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. Got it. That's exactly when you need to be aggressive, Greg. You know that. I mean, another Seven good one. job, though, of drawing Brilliant. contact and getting to the free throw line. And they're going to have a hard time climbing back into this game if they continue to defend like that. Carter Williams dishes to Parker. And the rejection by Love. And good on the basket. Book it. This is a fantastic performance in this half. He didn't play as well in the first, but you know, you just know with this guy, got it. he's always ready to turn it around. James outside. J.R. Smith on the wing. Fires from deep. Rebounded by the Bucks. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. Onda Takumbo kicks to Parker. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Love. And Cleveland making a change here. Freaks checked in. Into the lineup, the Cavaliers. Freak. Bucks call timeout. And now your Milwaukee Bucks dancers. Just two to shoot. Middleton can't get it to go. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. Uh, they've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Outside, out of the Kumbo. Parker inside. He's guarded by Love. Here's Middleton, and Thompson sends it back. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. On the wing, Irving. The screen from Thompson. Irving kicks to Thompson. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it, just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Cleveland. Agreed, Steve, and as one-sided as it gets today, you know, Clark, there were uh, some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. You're right, Kevin. It's hard to think of anything that didn't go right for them. I mean, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was spot on. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And it will be a fight, Greg. When you see an opponent that many times, it's inevitable that those games take on a little extra added meaning. And when you look back at this one, what an amazing performance this was for Irving. 
a big part of their success was his ability to keep the ball moving, finding guys when they would flash open. To the inside. No good. Good work defensively by Monroe. And Milwaukee has possession. Carter Williams kicks to Onda Takumba. Back to Parker. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. And they're clearly finishing strong here, but not enough time to pull it out. Yeah, it does look like they're going to end on a high note. Um, too bad this run didn't develop sooner for them. Adetokounmpo against James. Freak sets a screen for LeBron. To the inside, 13 feet away, and he gets it to go. And the fans already heading for the exits, clearly not pleased with the way things turned out today. Well, Greg, this was a well-deserved win. I mean, they came into this building and acted like it was their home turf. I mean, they were the ones calling the shots and controlling everything. So we see the Cavaliers play, taking play, the win play, here. Play. To come into an opponent's building and hey. dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel <laughs> at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris? Kevin, you guys had a tremendous second half. What were the things that had to happen to win this game? You know, we all contributed tonight, and if we have a well-balanced, you know, scoring and uh, we're efficient on both ends, we usually end up winning the game. And, you know, like you said, the second half was big for us tonight. It takes five guys to win it in the NBA. Kevin, thanks for your time. Back to the table. All right, Doris, great job. Thanks so much. And that'll do it, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, the award-winning Ernie Johnson will take it from here. We'll see you next time. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Welcome back, everybody. Ernie Johnson here along with Shaq and the Jet as we present our Jordan player of the game, Kyrie Irving. Well, his shooting percentage up there in the high 50s speaks to how smart his shot selection was. It was really an intelligent game he played, plain and simple. It's all about protecting each possession, and he set the example for them with his excellent decision making. This was a complete performance we witnessed here tonight, Ernie. Hey, Shaq, check this out. On offense and defense, don't you think he led his team better than anyone we've seen in a long time? Yeah. He's got to be worn down because all that effort on every possession, it'll tire you out. And that brings us to the end of our broadcast for this evening. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and our illustrious 2K Sports group, this is Ernie Johnson saying good night, and we'll see you again soon, but not soon enough.